right, we're here in Amsterdam. Everyone's arrived. Volkswagen has sent a nice white T6 van, a dark blue T6 van. So we've got some pretty sweet uh, rides out to the port and then we're gonna get in our own cars and this will be the last time, I hope, that anyone needs to take uh, anything else but their own car for our trip. Um, All right, we're at the City Golf. Everyone else just left to go to the airport. Um, the city is leaking so much oil from the valve cover. I dropped it off at a shop a month ago, asked them to replace the oil pan and the valve cover gasket. They only did the oil pan. They didn't think the valve cover gasket needed doing. I told them it did. They said it didn't. They didn't do it. I'm now taking it back to them right now. So they're going to have the rest of today only to fix it. And then tonight we're going to have a trailer to Germany or I'm going to drive my ass from Germany back to here in Amsterdam, pick up the car and then drive back to it. So the car will be in Wolfsburg tomorrow. This is it. I can't believe that I prepared, I planned, I handed off to someone else, didn't get done. They're gonna make it right today, I hope, because it is just leaking so much oil. Maybe a, a little hard to see, but underneath there is a patch that size of oil and it's been parked here for 30 minutes. Um, it's not sustainable. I mean, I could drive it like this, but I wanna go in the Nürburgring and I won't drop oil on corners for other people for motorbikes or anything else it's also going to make a big big mess of the car so we're going to try and get it fixed <laughs> the squealing bells because of the oil leak to get a valve cover gasket replaced and they didn't do it because they didn't think it needs doing. Unfortunately, it really does need doing, so we're back here. The plan is I'm gonna leave it with them today. I'm gonna carry on with the tour and then tonight somehow we'll get the car back once they've done it in a day instead of a month. Um, that's the plan. And then Eric, the owner, is coming to Worthesy as well with the MIBW guys, so we're all gonna hang out there with the City Golf and everything's gonna be awesome, I hope. Um, I feel really bad, but I also, yeah, we, it's been here a month, it just gets done on the last day, that's it. So, yeah. but I really, yeah. do. thank a new, you. A new, uh, oh new chapter. Good luck. Shit happens. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Yeah. <laughs> to Worthesy. Three years ago I shipped over a Volkswagen Golf Mark III, a Harlequin, uh, from the USA to Germany to drive it all across Europe to go to Worthesy and it was awesome. I had the best time, my friends with me. So last year I came back with two cars and about 10 friends and we did the same thing. We had two cars from Volkswagen and we just had a little convoy. This year we have five cars from America we have the South African City Golf, and we have 14 friends from all across the United States and two from South Africa. And we are basically gonna have two weeks of craziness driving all over Europe, Germany, Holland, Austria, Slovenia. We might go to Italy for a day trip. Um, this is really nuts that we have shipped our own cars from basically around the world to just party driving around Europe. Right now I am driving in a brand new Golf variant that the R Group have lent us um, and they're going to be an important part of our schedule. Um, today basically we're going to the Emden factory where they make Passats and the new Arteon and that is where the Volkswagen Group ships all of the cars around the world. So if you've ever bought a 
Porsche, Lamborghini, German built Volkswagen, German Audi or anything else, it's gone through this port and that is where our cars are sitting. Uh, so we'll go there, grab the cars, drive out onto Germany and straight onto the Autobahn and mm, knowing past years we'll probably do some high speed runs straight away because it's the first legal time that these American cars will be allowed to stretch their legs properly. Tonight we are staying in a hotel and we have a whole bunch of clean freaks detailing stuff because the cars are dirty and uh, so instead of sleeping we're going to wash cars and hang out. Tomorrow we will be in Wolfsburg at the factory there. We have a two hour private tour um, of the factory that is uh, a lot more intensive than the normal factory tour. And then super excitingly the R group who are in charge of all R products, Golf R, R line, Tiguan's, everything. They have invited us to their headquarters. They're gonna be providing lunch and giving us a tour, which is something I've never done before and I don't think that they really offer. So Friday night, we actually have a really long drive from Wolfsburg to Munich, the whole way down Germany. Saturday morning, we'll go to the flea market, maybe the BMW museum. Then we'll make the rest of the drive into Werthersee. So we'll get there Saturday night. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, hanging out, hitting get-togethers, taking day trips, photos, just living the life in Austria like you see in all the films and photos. Uh, Wednesday through Saturday, Volkswagen have the official GTI Treffen at Wuerthersee. We have our own display area. We're going to put the cars on the stage as well. Um, basically hang out and have a really good time with those guys. Um, our friends from MIVW are also going to be there. So it's really going to be a big family of Volkswagen friends. Sunday, we're back to the craziness. Um, we're driving a whole bunch and going to the Porsche Museum in Stuttgart. And then Monday, we're going to Audi Neckersholm, which is the uh, home of the original NSU factory, but also now the home of Audi Sport. Uh, so we'll go visit there, do a factory tour, photos, everything else. Tuesday, um, that is our Nürburgring day. So we're gonna take five cars from America and my South African City Golf 3.6 liter and have some fun on the Nürburgring Nordschleife track which I think for car people around the world is kind of kind of a holy grail. I mean, this is one of the most infamous, if not the most infamous track in the world. So to have our own cars driving there is gonna be nuts. Uh, the next day we go back to Emden, drop the cars off, back to Amsterdam, we'll have a final meal. People start flying home, that's it. Basically two weeks today, two and a half thousand kilometers <laughs> half a dozen museum factory tours um, all across Volkswagen groups Germany and a week in Werthersee at Austria uh, joining us we have Jared from Speed and Sound magazine he's gonna be doing the videoing so we'll have daily videos uh, a whole bunch of magazine coverage as well Instagram all those things so we will share as much of this experience as we possibly can um, I'm a little jet lagged right now I feel like I could take a nap but at the same time I'm so freaking excited for this uh, I hope you're excited to follow along <laughs> the, the city golf is going to drive the whole way across Europe um, with all these other friends cars it's it's gonna be absolutely nuts <laughs> We just gassed up the cars, we got ourselves a bite to eat, 
Right now, everyone's kind of chatting cars, getting to know each other. We're gonna do a three hour drive, the first time on the Autobahn for everybody, uh, to our hotel tonight. We're gonna try and wash the cars. It'll be after dark. And then tomorrow is our massive day in Wolfsburg. So three hours in the Autobahn, maybe we can make it two hours if we go fast enough. Ian, uh, chairman of the Volkswagen Club of South Africa. We're uh, joining Jamie Orr on the USA tour to Worthersy. Today is my first time driving on the left-hand side of the road. In On the right-hand side of the road in a left-hand drive car in a manual transmission. You see, even I'm confused by which side of the road I'm driving on. This has to be with the most awkward driving position ever invented. Um, Everything is on the opposite side of the car to what I'm used to and we're just about to hit the Autobahn and we're in company with cars ranging from 550 horsepower all the way down to our awesome Golf variant of probably 80 horsepower. So we've just hit the Autobahn, let's rock and roll. Yeah, it's 210 on the highway. So we're in Germany, we've got the cars. Uh, Mike from Clean Freaks is one of the sponsors of the event and he uh, sent out a bunch of detailing stuff. So I figured we'd get a couple of bottles of shampoo, maybe some nice wheel cleaner, stuff like that. What I didn't expect was two massive boxes completely stuffed of I don't know what. So we're sitting here in a McDonald's, it's almost midnight. We're gonna cut them open, see what's in there. And then I think we're gonna go wash the cars in the dark with no hose. Um, <laughs> When we were in America, it was snowing, so there was salt all over the cars. They tried to wash them down real quick or hose them down, but they're still they're still pretty filthy, and we all feel bad about that. So thanks to Clean Freaks or whatever the hell is in these massive boxes. Oh, damn! Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, the Clean Freaks guys do flight cases, and I didn't realize that that's what we were getting. Oh, wow. Is that the same? Three more no here. way. Wow. Oh, man. Car shampoo, interior trim detailer, glass cleaner, detailer spray, sticker, fancy little keychain, double sized, oh sweet, and drying cloth, and a glass cloth. And, a glass cloth. and wash mitts. We don't just have two buckets, we have all the buckets. <laughs> I know it says, have a fun trip with compliments from Mike and Vicky. If you enjoy the products, check us out. Clean Freaks America. Smiley face. Awesome. Guys, thank you so much. Um, we are going to be washing the cars a lot. Actually, we're really excited to wash them tonight, hopefully. But the big thing is once you get to Worthersy, you have to go to the Any, the old Shell station, and they have a row of car washes there which have the crap soap, and nobody uses it. They just use the water, and it's a spectacle that you roll deep. You pull off your cars, line them all up, get out all of your nice detailing supplies and detail in front of all the crowds. So uh, that is Saturday night, which is day after tomorrow, actually. So super pumped for that.